So what I want to cover here in this video is to give you a quick overview of basically how to get documents into a SharePoint document library and start working with them. So what I've got here on the screen is a basic SharePoint team site. So this is what a new SharePoint team site will look like. On the left hand side here you will see the quick launch menu. One of the items there is a document library. So if we click on that we will then be taken to the document library that is part of this team site when it was created. Now we can add additional document libraries if we want but we'll just work with this one for the time being. Now the first way we can get documents into uh, uh, the SharePoint document library is to create new ones. So if we click on the new button here you'll see that I can now create a new uh, Microsoft Office document directly in the library. So I'm going to select to create a Word document that will then take me to the Word Online, place me in the editing mode. I can then go in there and create a document. You'll notice that in the background it is saving that document for me and it's saving it to the document library. So once that um, saving process has finished, I can then basically go back to uh, my demo site and that will take me back to the document library. And you'll see here that this document has been created with a generic name ready in my library so that I can again access it and edit it further if I want. Now the second option I've got apart from creating new documents is to upload an existing document. To do that I select the upload option here that will pop open a dialog box. I can select the browse button, go to the location on my file system, select the file that I wish to upload and then simply go OK. Now you'll see briefly that it lists the file as it uploads and when that is complete the document now appears in my document library. Again, if it's an Office document, I can now click on that and view that and potentially edit that. So now I have two documents in uh, this document library. Now, of course, doing individual documents one at a time can be a bit onerous. So what we want to be able to do is upload multiple documents. Now, the way we can do this is if we go to the Upload button again and we're using Windows Internet Explorer as our browser, you'll see that I get a link here that says Upload Files using Windows Explorer instead. So if I click that, what it's doing is is that it will map a drive to um, our SharePoint document library. So what you'll see here now are the two documents that are already in our document library. Up the top here you'll see the basically the directory structure or the URL of my uh, SharePoint uh, document library. Now what I can do is go to the location on my C drive and again all I need to do is basically like I do with any other file system is simply drag and drop the file from my local drive up to my SharePoint site. Now I can obviously do that with multiple files as well if I want so when I've uploaded the files that I want simply go back to the document library and refresh the page and what we'll see here is that last document has now appeared in the document library. So again, very simple, very easy. Again, I just uh, you open it with Windows Explorer. I then can select, for example, uh, multiple documents. So if I take these two documents or these three documents and I can simply drag and drop these across into my SharePoint site. Now, an important thing to remember here is that the upload speed will be dependent on your broadband link and it'll probably be a little bit slower than what you expect if you're copying to a local file server. But generally it doesn't take too long and it is a quick and easy way to take multiple files up into your SharePoint site. So when that's done, all I need to do then is to refresh my view of the document library and I'll see those documents that I have added. Now not only can I use the buttons across the top here, if we go into um, the tabs up the top here and select that under files, you'll see that I get a similar functionality. I can create a new document using this button. I can upload multiple documents um, as I did before. It gives me the same dialog. And if I want, I can also create new folders. So if I want to have a folder structure, I can also replicate exactly that in my SharePoint Online document library. Now the final way that we can actually get documents into this document library is we can actually drag and drop directly on the browser. So what we do is we go back to our document library, we go back to our files on our local drive. Um, so what we can do now is if we pick a file that isn't up there first, what we can now do is simply drag and drop from our local desktop onto the area in documents 
in SharePoint. So as you see, I've just dragged this document over the location of my documents. If I let it go, you'll see that it uploads. And again, that document now appears in my document library. Important to remember that when I copy files or take files from my local desktop, I'm taking a copy. So I'm not actually moving them from one place to the other. It's basically taking a copy. And now I have them in two locations. If you want to get rid of that, best to delete um, the local copy once you're happy that it is up there and secure in uh, SharePoint Online. So hopefully that's given you a brief overview of how to get documents into a SharePoint document library. The first thing you need to do is locate that document library and navigate to it. Then you can select a new button and create a new Office document or a folder if you so choose. You can then use the upload button to either upload individual files by browsing to them or selecting them. Or if you're using Internet Explorer as your browser, you can upload multiple files by opening up Windows Explorer and then dragging and dropping. The final option that you have that's supported in all browsers is the ability to drag and drop directly onto the interface. So some quick and easy ways for you to get files into SharePoint Online so you can start using them. So that's the end of our video. Thank you very much for watching.